Hello there. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now, as you may know, I enjoy writing in my journal on a daily basis just to help with planning my life and all the benefits which comes from staying on top of, you know, the things that you've got to do. And in order to do that, over the years, I have found that it's been necessary to equip myself with a good fountain pen that I can carry around, which is going to be practical, which is going to be reliable. And I have to admit, for the last few years, I've been using this pen. Now, this is a Caveco Sport fountain pen. It's a really lovely little fountain pen, and it writes beautifully, it looks fantastic, and it's got all the qualities which I was looking for in a daily carrier. You know, well constructed. I've got this aluminium version. I've also got a plastic version, comes in different size nibs, and it really writes rather well. It is the, you know, the quintessential piece of German efficiency because it hails from that, com that country so well regarded for engineering. However, I was rather intrigued earlier this year when I heard that there was a new-ish British company producing pocket fountain pens which were somewhat different, at least the competitor of my good friend, the Caveco Sport. So I wanted to know more. I reached out, got in touch with Tom's Studio, and they sent me this, the Tom's Studio pocket pen. Now, a little bit about Tom's Studio. They are a small family-oriented company which operates down in Dorset on the south coast of England. They haven't been running too long and their story of the company coming into being is a real sort of fairy tale of innovation because Tom, the eponymous founder of the company for whom you know the studio is named after, um, he observed his wife who's a, I believe some sort of graphic artist and he observed her going about her graphic artistry um, and he noticed that she was using calligraphy pens which were mass-produced of lower quality and he didn't feel that these were you know a comparative uh, level to her standard of work and he thought I could do better than that because he had a history of industrial design I believe from his university days and the practical application of using those designs through having worked in a blacksmith's forge at an earlier phase of his life. So he set about producing for his wife some exquisite writing instruments for her to use. Now over time the company has grown and I believe it was only earlier this year, 2023, that they brought out this little gem here. This being the Tom's Studio Pocket Fountain Pen. And I have to tell you, a bit of a spoiler, it has already displaced my Caveco Sport in my daily pen usage. And I'm going to tell you why. So why am I so enamoured with this lovely Tom Studio pocket pen? Well, first of all, it's quite small, right? It is 99 millimetres in length when it's in the capped position. And if I was to show it in comparison to the Caveco Sport, it's actually smaller in the capped position. So it's a little bit more compact. However, when we open the pen and with the Tom's Studio pen, it's gravity which holds them together. Unlike the screw, which is on the Caveco Sport, on this one, there's two little O-rings which actually snugly hold the pen in place. And it's real solidly attached in there. And it's not gonna come undone. We open it up and then we put it together. And it goes from the 99 millimeters in length when it's capped to 163 millimeters when it's in the ready to use position. And I have to say, it now feels like more of a desk pen than a pocket pen. To give a comparison again, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cap my uh, Caveco Sport. And now you can immediately see the difference. What you now have is something akin to a desk pen. Not only is the size, much more of a man's pen, but the nib is considerably larger also. So what we have now is something which is really less like a, a desk pen, more like, sorry, a, a carrying pen, more like a pen that you would use every day on your desk. 
talking about the nib the nib is gold plated and it is available in a range of different sizes i have actually opted for the medium because i'm you know quite a standard writer uh, but it's also available in fine and a number of specialist cut nibs as well and uh, i believe they come in things called proflex italic and numerous others but for me that medium nib perfect for daily ordinary writing uh, it comes in a range of different colors some are sort of pearlescent i went for the black which i think is quite stately quite masculine uh, but they have quite vibrant colors as well if you prefer to have a little splash of color in your pens uh, and yeah this is a real little corker so let's talk about the business end of it how does it all work well for a start i'll talk about the cap now the cap and this is all metal by the way so it's quite solidly constructed the cap is hexagonal so when you put it on the table it stays where you've left it it's not going to roll off the end because that hexagonal facets means it stays where you've left it now at the business end we open the pen up and we see that it takes a standard international cartridge which is ideal if you're traveling you can slip that in there gets the job done however it's been manufactured to the engineering tolerances that it can also be used as an eyedropper pen and they actually provide the pen with a little filling syringe so basically you can fill the body of the pen here with the ink of your choice and because of the o-rings which are in place here you can slot it back up and there you have a large reservoir of ink many times larger than any uh, cartridge so you've far less time uh, you're going to spend filling your pen so much more practical and you know it just feels that it's been engineered to very high levels uh, what i would also say is that where you grip the pen there are no ridges there are no edges there's no threads where the pen is you know slotted together unlike i would have to say on my caveco sport and i perhaps show them as a bit of a comparison here but on the tom's studio pen it's been milled so it's almost imperceptible to the eye but there are little ridges all the way around which when you hold the pen the grip is exquisite it's actually one of the most comfortable pens i have had the pleasure of writing with and yeah it's an absolute joy now i'm sorry to have had to compare the tom studio pen to my caveco sport because you know it feels like i'm kicking a dog when it's done but i think the caveco is being relegated into my occasional use and the tom studio fountain pen is now my primary everyday carry fountain pen just because i feel it is engineered to a higher level it's been made with a great deal of thought in the way that it's used it's more sort of compact in size and it writes excellently as well and let's not forget it's also of a comparable price for 85 british pounds i think this is a really approachable price for the quality of item that you receive and i just want to state at this point this isn't an endorsed video i don't do those um, i've not been paid to talk about this product i've been using this product for a number of months now and i'm delighted with its it's just application in daily life so the reason why i share this with you is because i've used it and i've thoroughly enjoyed it uh, and you know you can buy a million of these it doesn't benefit me in any way i'm just giving you the benefit of my own experiences so kind of the jack of all trades if you like a fountain pen but you don't want to compromise and have a small pen which is going to feel dinky in your hand the old tom studio pocket pen really just does away with having to make that sacrifice now you get the best of both worlds and it's certainly the way i'm going forward from this point on so there we go i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more like this click the subscribe button if you would like to support the channel you can just leave me a coffee you can buy me a coffee you can leave me a comment or you can even become a patron where i will um, make additional video content for my patrons every week and if you want to get involved with that have a look at the show notes below to find the links so until the next time enjoy your writing experiences and i will see you again very soon